Oh my god! The world's gonna end in about four or five hours, depending on when you view this video. And I think I might spend, you know, maybe an hour or two hours playing Call of Duty. And I don't know the rest of it. But personally, when the world doesn't end at six o'clock, I'm probably gonna go and kill whoever said it's going to. Because I think all these conspiracies are a bunch of bullcrap. And they're really good for scaring people, like, this girl in our science class, no lie, just about started crying when she heard that it was gonna end tomorrow, or this was on Friday. But anyway, hi guys, my name is 3 Hound, and I might sound different because I am talking into a blue snowball mic that is as big as my stomach, and normally I commentate in theater mode. So, if you guys don't like that, then you can pretty much SMFD because it's too bad. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this game mode, or this game mode, this gameplay isn't as amazing as normal, and my quality of the games has kind of gone down with my last couple of videos, and that's because of those Claymore deaths that they've had, I mean, Treyarch really likes to see those things that are amazing, and those, have, I think they've gotten more popular, but I'm not really, I'm not 100% sure, and then also because I don't really like this game lately, I just haven't been into it and is interested and I've been playing other games as well as just not even playing Xbox just period and that's pretty much because this game has I think the guns are almost all the same I mean I really do half the freaking iron sights are the same and there's just tons of I mean KDs are so easily viewable it doesn't really bother me as much as it used to but it's not a fun thing when people start trying to trash talk you when you're trying to run around with a Kimbo HS10 or whatever but, and um yeah those I almost got a gameplay with those too by the way for you guys but that's a different story and then I'm going to talk about the scorpion because it's my first gold gun and it is probably the best gun in the game and um no <laughs> if you want to get the half clip of hit markers go in hardcore with it and I think silencer and warlord and uh whatever you want otherwise will be a good trick for you but what's that free fire that I just died by I don't really I think if you want to be a fag and you want to try to be a GB pro, go into pubs and, you know, be a faggot and pre-fire. Like, no. That's just, that's MW2. That's why a lot of people hated that game was all this pre-fire nonsense. And I think as soon as that comes into Black Ops with already how bad, you know, overall the game seems to be, it's just going to be a negative for everybody playing it. And, yeah, that's really not as fun. Well, and in this game with me, I have Master, or MJ Batman, and he has been desperately in want of a commentary that he wants to be a part of. So, I'm gonna probably, you know, if there's anybody you can suggest him to watch to try to get a little bit of... I don't know, I'm using my hands to talk and I feel retarded, but, um... Like, just to watch to get a better idea of what to do, that'd be great. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the Scorpion, what I do with it is I do lightweight sleight of hand ninja because I like my ninja and my sleight of hand I'm probably gonna use those in most of my videos if you haven't caught on yet and I like those because when with the scorpion you've already got a small clip and if you're rushing like I like to do you're probably gonna get in close quarters with multiple people and the quicker you reload the better it is and when you add extended mags it makes the scorpion just that much better up close because it's gonna take a good four or five kills and heart or shots in hardcore to kill the guy anyway but then in core I try to use it in core and it's about half a clip almost so about 15 shots 10 15 to get them and that's pretty much almost anywhere I'm guessing a headshot I know a headshot in hardcore is two shots to the head and um that that's not as fun as the old-fashioned one-shot headshot so you can't really get a one-shot kill with the scorpion but that's okay because it is obviously the coolest golden gun ever so yeah, and now, so back to the gameplay, I guess, with the tips with the scorpion, if you're gonna rush, you wanna get close, I mean, it's not very good at long range, it's kinda like, uh, kinda like Vector, in a way, not as powerful, but it's just not very good at long range, and if you get into a long range, you kinda wanna shoot it at first, so you can get, I don't know, I guess, like, tips, and this guy gets a lucky care package, yeah, every time I call in care packages, I get, like, three kill streaks or four kill streaks, or even the fabulous ammo, no, this guy gets dogs, so I'm gonna just chill out up here, because I think that's a dick move, and actually, some guy tries to come get me, and my claymore gets a kill, 
which helps out the cause because I don't necessarily know how easily it is to kill people when you're killable from everywhere. I didn't want to lay down, but you know, I feel like crouching here would be a, almost like a head camp scenario, which is good because head camping, no matter how much of a fag move it is, is a very good technique. And so I hear the around you. I like that because you can almost hear the swarming. Oh, and right there, you just kind of saw. Or a little bit bad. You saw the brief, or the, brief fire, the first fire long range scorpion for the care package. That's what you want to do because it is a, it is actually pretty strong in a burst fire. I noticed that a lot of these guns have long range and really powerful. The burst fire, like I was using way back when, the Fomus three burst. No matter how much of a fag gun it already is, from long range, if you use it like it is in um, Modern Warfare two, it, it's kind of long range it's like you can pretty much get him with like the one burst plant because he's cool yeah that's okay i mean i don't know why he no no it's 15th that's fine he can do whatever he wants but um back to the whole three burst type deal it it works really well for that and the aug those two are really good they're already really good because they're fully automatic and they're really powerful but yeah um, this is right here, uh, let's see, yeah, I'm rushing right here, like I do in pretty much every video, and, um, the, if I guess, if I haven't already given any keys to rushing, a bit, the big one is the one in the spot, like, if, there, if there's a head camping spot that's popular on a map, you want to get to the side of that, almost like to the flank of that, before they have a chance to even get to their head camp spot, or else you're going to pretty much get raped, because... The one way to stop a rusher, or maybe two ways, is to either camp or to get to beat them to the spot that'll beat them. I mean, that'll take them down. Like a head camp, those are really hard to get. You gotta have a really fast thumbs to get that. And you pretty much gotta work your thumbs out like it's your day job. I mean, do some thumb wrestling. That'll pretty much strong. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay. This game, I think, is coming up to a close. I mean, not very fast, but slowly it's coming up. And I think my final score is 13-4, and four, and like I said, it's nothing impressive, but I had two bomb plants, and as you know, they took out that spinning thing, so it's never silent anymore, or rarely silent, which is why I'm now laying down, because I feel like if I can make myself as small of a target as possible while planting the bomb, it's as beneficial as I possibly can. B, I guess, and just it gives me that much of a, of a strength almost, you could say. And right here, I'm just, I mean, this is a really mean spot for camping when you got the bomb planted. You just gotta turn your beaches up a little bit and you can hear them if they diffuse because of that no spinning thing. And that pretty much saves me here. And yeah, I got really just raped them pretty hardcore. And I guess I'll talk one more thing. If, I mean, ninja, okay, if you guys are bad overall and you wanna be good, put ninja on because I mean there are people if you're killed at this point one you could probably kill me with ninja because I won't hear you as opposed to I'll hear maybe your teammate with the 4.1 KD I'll go after him and I can get him I mean it's not a big deal I just we're ninja it helps out a lot okay guys like I said final score 13 and 4 only kill streaks I think or the uh, care package and that was the UAV because I love my care package UAVs and I just want to quick remind you guys all to rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a nice day, and enjoy your five or so hours based on when you look at this before the world ends, and I love you all. Um, I guess peace, everybody, and look forward to a GB Duelcom with me and Justin. Love you. Bye!